And the forest is important to every person in this state, whether their job is there, whether they recreate there, whether they just know that that beautiful forest is in their backyard. A huge economic engine for the state of Maine. 18 to 20 cents out of every dollar that flows through the Maine economy. 8.3 billion dollars generated by nature-based tourism. The university, because of its land-grant mission, stays focused on how natural resource management of any kind serves the state. And all of that knowledge and resource is available to those who ask the right questions. The pulp and paper industry is still very, very strong here. Close to 70% of the total forest products economy is derived from pulp and paper, but we can supplement it with some of these new technologies using the volumes that they are no longer using. We help companies take concepts from the bench to the pilot plant to pilot scale all the way to commercialization. All this change, all the new technology, all the new ways of thinking about things rather than just keep doing it the old way. It, it's a wonderful time to be part of. Use of wood for tall buildings, including what's called cross-laminated timber, is a very rapidly expanding market here in North America. At the university, we're at the leading edge of, of the research of trying to get that into the market, new value-added products for lumber. The deal is using the tree 100%. And turning it into new products, like crude oil that goes into gasoline or diesel, are bioplastics that can enter the end markets. These are the materials of the next uh, century. These are the things that we're developing that are actually going to allow us to actually move biomaterials in a place where traditionally have been fossil-based materials moving forward at, um, at lower cost and higher performance. Maine's identity is really tied to fresh waters around the state. We use them for drinking water, we use them for fisheries, recreation, tourism, and the importance of having clean fresh waters really is a big value for the state of Maine. That drop of rain trickles down through a forest canopy, down the bowl of the trees, into the soils that I study. Chemically has changed and typically comes out a purer, more usable water. That has value to society. Our work in terms of protecting critical places, in terms of keeping vibrant ecosystems healthy, would not work without understanding the fundamentals of both forest ecology as well as the forest economy. And I think Humane is a place where they can blend those together. When migratory fish are in fresh water, they're really forest creatures. For salmon, for lamprey, and a lot of other species, they're spending a lot of time in areas that we would normally consider the forest. And those fish are a critical part of how that seasonal breathing in and out of nutrients occurs as these fish reproduce and their young make their way back out to the ocean. Our project really focuses on these very big environmental stressors that come to Maine from elsewhere. The future sustainability of the Maine forest is dependent on its health. If you don't understand what's affecting the health of the forest, we are not going to be able to have a sustainable forest. We're giving foresters better toolkits to do their job easier and much more efficient over a larger scale. Having three-dimensional data allows us to better quantify the forest, so the best way for us to keep in check with the state is to have a better idea what's going on within the ground. When you think of a forest ecosystem, the, the trees are the dominant feature, the thing you notice first, but those, those trees wouldn't be there without animals spreading seeds and doing all the roles that animals play in ecosystems. So, Healthy forests require healthy populations of, of wildlife. There's uh, a lot of different types of biota that we have here in the state of Maine. A lot of them um, are under pressure. I look at uh, bird species that live in tidal marshes. That ecosystem is on the front lines of global change, so understanding how these birds are going to respond informs how all ecosystems are likely to respond to global change. Forests are, are huge for, for tourism, for attracting visitors and providing the services and the opportunities to engage in outdoor recreation. The whole outdoor economy of hunting and fishing, snowmobiling, ATV riding is built on free access to private land. It's really kind of a unique situation in Maine. 
majority of landowners allow it, but they expect certain behavior. We're linked. We cannot be separated from the environment. All that we do is going to eventually influence positively or negative how the system is going to function. The forest is Maine. And the beauty of Maine is that we have a sustainably managed forest, a large amount that's right there that's close to big markets. Maine is helping us create the kind of students that we need in order to be very savvy about technology. We're incredibly blessed that the university stays focused on its land-grant mission. And one of the things that we have and are very fortunate about is, if not the top forestry school in the country, it's top five for sure and has been for years. And the university recognizes that and won't let it go. We won't let them let it go. It's a real advantage to the state.